Welcome to the National Career Choice Online News. Uh, please tell us more about uh, the future of the business school now that you have launched uh, your new book. Um, well, the book launch I think went very well as you can, do, you can discover from the um, attention of the audience and the, and the vigorousness of the debate. I think uh, at the end of the day what we will see are major changes in the business school. I think the remark uh, the president of SMU made about uh, we should think of the business school concept as one that is changing to and we should think about a school for business and what we're trying to identify here is a school that attacks the problems of business but is at the same time highly relevant highly sought after but at the same time seen as solving the problems that are important both to business and society and not solving problems in isolation. So I think rather like a, a law school, a medical school or something similar, it needs to both have cutting edge research but at the same time attack the problems of business very well. And we have somehow or other to address the question of the financial sustainability of the business school. We, we need to make sure that uh, students irrespective of income and need can come to the best schools for business and learn. And I think that's a real challenge for all of us as we look in the future to develop a more innovative model that will allow all students of all types to, to come to uh, an attractive and important business school. What would be the one recommendation for policymakers uh, to, to have the cost of education be affordable for students? Well, I think what they're going to have to do is, uh, I think, at some level, uh, make uh, uh, faculty members more flexible. Um, in other words, that they, are, they will teach somewhat more. Uh, they will teach together in teams to use to technology much more effectively uh, because, you know, technology-enabled learning can save a lot of face time in lectures. We should be going away from lectures to the kind of concept that Professor Lorange, Peter Lorange was suggesting in the book, which is that we get people to think about the problems in a learning context in a, and not in a lecturing context. So the professor becomes a facilitator and a coach. So we can do a much better job by running business schools more efficiently and effectively, use technology and somehow or other reduce the cost. But we will probably have to get faculty to teach more. Now our viewers would like to know what would be your next book going to be like and, uh, and when, when do you think uh, well, it will I come have out? Well I have two coming out, one's called uh, uh, human, uh, human Capital and Global Business Strategy and I've written it with two of my colleagues here uh, and then in February there's a book called, coming out called Confronting the Future of Management Education. And that one will be really interesting because that really pushes hard at the envelope of what kind of uh, um, model of a new business school should be there. This book goes some of the way towards that by focusing to some extent on um, the Laurent Institute of Business. This takes it even further. Do you have a, 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 a Facebook or a website that my viewers like to know? Um, well, I have a, a LinkedIn um, a LinkedIn address. I also have a Facebook address. Uh, I have to say that I'm reloading a lot of my material on those those uh, those uh, sites. But uh, if they simply go to Google, and Google my name, they'll find most of the information they need. Once again, uh, Dr. Professor, thank you for joining us here at the National Quiz Choice. Thank you very much. Now,